So there have been some rumors going around that the friend zone does not exist. People, you know who you are. That's not cool. We here at Overkill Cam um, think that is not true at all. I look good, yeah. I have permanent residence there. I think you guys are wrong. So what we did is we took this camera, this tripod, our beautiful faces, and we went and asked some people about it. Here you go. Do you believe the friend zone is real? I, it's a good question. Yeah, I do. I actually do believe the friend zone exists. Absolutely, the friend zone exists. Uh, yes. There's actually some people out there that think um, the friend zone is not real and that uh, oh. guys, guys use it as a ploy to pick up chicks. What? Yes. Friend zone does exist, man, and once you get in there, you cannot get out. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, okay. I do. Yes, I do. It's a very real thing. Friend zone absolutely exists. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. Has that ever happened to you? Actually, yes, it has happened to me a couple of times. Many times. I think you have. Multiple times. Every day of my life. Like, often. Like very often. Very often. Several times. Every day of my life. I mean like, do you remember if you've ever put anybody in the friend zone? I'm sure I have. Um, yeah there were some, and I, lot of, I lost a lot of friends that way. I've done plenty of friend zoning. That's fine, I mean that's... <laughs> well, I've done plenty of friend zoning in my time. Definitely. Definitely put a couple of guys in the friend zone and they're still there. Can you tell us a little more about that? Uh, I liked a girl for a long time. There was a girl that I liked on and off for about a year and a half. I was dating this one girl, you know, I was buying a gas money, taking her to lunch, I carried her books to class, you know. I was like, oh great, here's here's my number, you know, we exchange numbers. And so we, we, I mean, we text from two, like, to two o'clock. I went, like, way out of my way to to help this chick do all this stuff. Like, I even, I did her homework. I thought things were going well, so I, uh, I asked her to just grab lunch with me. I get friend zoned it within five seconds of meeting them. Sounds great. Winky face. She put a winky face at the end. So now I'm led on to believe that, oh, this is really popping. I'm pretty sure I actually mowed her lawn, like, a bunch of times for her dad. <laughs> Like, a smiley face, I'd be kind of iffy, but a winky face is kind of like, you're flirting with me. So I feel like, oh, you're liking me. She was always very affectionate, both emotionally and physically. You know, I put my arm around her, and she was, like, snuggled up closer to me, and I was like, yeah, this is cool and all, but then, uh, after the movie, I, like, leaned in to kiss her, and she was like, oh, no, I don't want to do that. So I... We go to the movies, I take her out to, you know, take her to Joe's Crab Shack, you know, and uh, this goes on for a good three weeks. She she had a habit of making me seem special, but I wasn't. And I told her a joke at lunch, and she's like, I'm so glad we're friends. Oh. That that was, that was like, <laughs> like killer right there. And all of a sudden, she was just like, no, dude, I just want to be a friend. I tried to make my move, but I just couldn't get out. It was too late. I ended up being the best friend. There was nothing more than that. It had like, friends. Wait a minute. I bought you popcorn at Cinemark. I I gave you food. I bought you food at, Gro at Joe's Crab Shack. Those shrimps and steak, that would have been yours. You wouldn't have had no food that weekend if it wasn't for me. Because the whole time she just thought of me as a friend. That was the one that really just kind of yeah. broke the heart. Man. I and that kind of was like a slap to the dick. Is there any way, personally, that he would be able to have a chance to get out? Most of the time, no. I really don't think so. Um, once you're in the friend zone, there's really not a way to get out of it. Just be patient. I mean, honestly, not, not everybody is meant to be together at all times, you know, like what works now will probably not work five years from now or even if like you think it's not going to work it might end up working or something like that so just be patient you never know what opportunities you're going to get take it slow don't jump to being the boyfriend if you could go back uh, and change anything what would you change um, to, to avoid being in the friend zone to avoid being in the friend zone would i go back to the knowledge that i have now yeah I would have saved my money and my time and put it on a hooker or something. <laughs> <laughs> Be more direct. Let them know how you feel. Because if not, I mean, they're never going to know. 
girls are just as confused about guys as we are about them. So. Um, I probably just wouldn't have made myself so available. I definitely would not pursue, I would not waste my time. Don't be over friendly, because then that's that directly puts you in the friend zone. My advice would be, know your standards and set your standards ahead of time. Now for those of you that fall into the category of not believing the friend zone is real, I hope this video gave you some insight, people. And we've all been there. I've been the victim, you've been there, I've been the defendant, the plaintiff, she's been there. Oh yeah, yeah. It sucks, but what we gotta do is embrace it. Make it part of us. Be that friend. So I hope you have a great day. Stay beautiful and uh, thanks for making it through this video. Love you.